What have you found? Guess what? Turns out there's no bomb after all. Ah, uh, there's no actual explosive device. The explosion will come, but uh, from somewhere else. Now, with the Wraith on the way, we'll need to cloak the city, right? Yes. Well, in order to do that, we need to reconnect the ZPM in order to supply the necessary power. And what about the Stargate? Ah, uh, I physically disabled the DHD. It won't be able to dial, so it won't be a problem. Now, the ZPM, however, will be. Now, as you know, the zero point module controls the flow of massive amounts of power. Like a dam. No, it's not like a dam. It's more like a, uh, actually, yes, it's like a dam. If you overload the dam, it breaks, which is why the ancients put in place fail safes to prevent such a thing from happening. Like a spillway. Can we just stick with fail safes? The problem is our trust operative figured out a way to rewrite Atlantis's operating system and disable the fail safes, but mask it in such a way that the uh, city sensors didn't detect it. So the dialing of Earth would cause the ZPM to overload. Oh yeah. And given that dialing another galaxy requires tremendous amounts of power, we're talking catastrophic overload. And the explosion would destroy not just the city, but uh, most likely the entire planet. Can the fail safes be re-enabled? Yes, but uh, whoever it was who did this anticipated the possibility that it would be discovered and they put in place a code to block access to it. And I'm gonna guess that cracking this code isn't gonna be easy. No, not at all. It is extremely complicated. But for now, you've already disabled the DHD, so it's impossible to dial Earth. Yeah, but unfortunately, any number of systems can be used in conjunction with each other to uh, overload the ZPM. It'd be a much more gradual buildup than dialing the gate, which would cause an instantaneous power spike, but uh, equally as effective in its results. And we can't disconnect the ZPM because we need the cloak for when the Wraith cruisers arrive. Bingo, which is why our bomber activated the distress beacon alerting them. And that is how the Wraith coming to Atlantis is connected to detonating the bomb. Elizabeth. Yes, Rodney? Cruisers are getting closer. I think it's time to reconnect the ZPM and cloak the city. Go ahead. Okay. Switching to ZPM power. Now. I've powered down several of the secondary systems, but uh, so far, uh, ZPM levels are holding below overload. Huh. I think we're going to be okay. So far, they're not behaving in a way that would indicate they're aware of us. Rodney. What? The city's inertial dampeners just began powering up. What? I, I, I'm trying to shut it down, but it's requiring that code. Hey, get out of there. Uh, it's a star drive. Look, the city, as you know, is just a giant spaceship with a star drive capable of faster than light travel, which means that it also has inertial dampeners. Yes, I know that. One of the precursors of the star drive's power-up phase is the activation of the dampeners. Ah, oh, which may very well affect our cloaking. Look, but that's not the worst part of it. It'll overload the ZPM. Way overloaded. How soon before that happens? 30 minutes at the most, and this city will be vaporized. 